He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and all young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Do you obey God? Do you obey His Word? Obedience means that you follow God's will. God's will can be found in God's Word. And so for many of us, when we think of obedience, we're expecting an Old Testament-like encounter with God where He gives you a clear, audible instruction that you have to obey. But that's not what I'm talking about. I am talking about obedience in the sense that we have God's Word available to us. But how many of us follow it? How many of us obey the instruction that's in the Word of God? And the thing is, when it comes to obedience, obedience and faith can't be separated. You need faith in order to obey, and you can only obey when you have faith. I say this because oftentimes God doesn't give us all of the details. He doesn't give us a roadmap or a blueprint. And that's because He wants us to have faith. When God tested Abraham, His command didn't come with a full explanation. The Bible says in Genesis 22, verse 2, Then He said, Take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. Abraham was willing and obedient to sacrifice his son, even though he didn't understand why. He didn't try to reason with God. He didn't negotiate or complain. All it took was for God to speak, and Abraham obeyed. How we all could benefit from having such an obedient spirit. How we could all benefit from having an attitude that says, if it's in God's word, I am going to be obedient. So if God's word says in Matthew 5, verse 39, but I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. If God's word tells me that bad company corrupts good character, then I should be obedient and be careful about the company I keep. If the Lord's word says, pray without ceasing, if it tells me, do not fear or do not be anxious for nothing, then my only objective is to believe and obey. Once Abraham obeyed God's command to sacrifice Isaac. The Bible says in Genesis 22, verse 15 to 17, Then the angel of the Lord called again to Abraham from heaven. This is what the Lord says, Because you have obeyed me, and have not withheld even your son, your only son, I swear by my own name that I will certainly bless you. I will multiply your descendants beyond number, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies. Because of his obedience, Abraham was blessed. However, with all of this being said, I would like to let you know that there is pain that comes with disobedience. When you decide to do things your way, when you decide to go against God's word, there is always a painful price to pay because you are effectively saying that you know better than the Lord. Proverbs 14 verse 12, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. So I encourage you to be obedient to the Lord. Be obedient to God's word 
even if you don't fully understand his plan. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, I realize that what we as humans often think is right is contrary to what's right and just in your eyes, Lord, which is why we need your word. Father, the standards that we often set are well below your standards. There is a way that seems right to us as humans, but the Bible tells us that its end is the way of death. And so, Lord Jesus, we need your guidance, we need your direction, and we certainly need your word. We need the counsel of the Holy Spirit, Father, so that he might help us as we fight the good fight of faith. I pray for a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. May he fill us so that our hearts and minds may be sensitive to godly things. And equally, I pray that through the Holy Spirit, we will be more discerning of evil. Keep us strong, King Jesus, so that we will not bow or bend to the ways of the world or to the evil doctrines in this world. Your word in Isaiah 45 verse 5 says, I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God besides me. I will gird you, though you have not known me. Indeed, there is none like you, Father. There is no rival to you, God. You have no equal. Father, give us an obedient spirit, one that chooses to follow your word instead of our own feelings. Give us a spirit that submits to your will and to your way. King Jesus, work within us to remove all doubt and disobedience. I recognize, Lord, that it isn't always easy yielding to your will, especially because of this flesh and its sinful ways. In those times where we struggle, I pray that the Holy Spirit would help us and strengthen us. Make us believers who are firm and assured that in the end, whatever you ask of us, whatever is required of us by you, Lord, will work out for my good. Your word in James 1 verse 2 to 4 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Lord Jesus, I desire to reach a level in faith and maturity whereby it's a joy to carry my cross and follow you. I want to reach a stage where it's a joy to chase after righteousness and crucify my flesh daily. I pray that my love for you, my desire for you, will be far greater than anything else in this world. I bless your name, King Jesus. I trust and believe that you have heard my prayer. Continue to cultivate a willingness within me and an obedient heart. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Then he said, Take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. But I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. Then the angel of the Lord called again to Abraham from heaven. This is what the Lord says, because you have obeyed me and have not withheld even your son, your only son, 
I swear by my own name that I will certainly bless you. I will multiply your descendants beyond number, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. I will gird you, though you have not known me. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. 